It's no secret that we're living in a hot hatch golden age, but one of the iconic names in the earliest part of the movement is no longer available with five doors. But despite the fact that it's only available with four doors, the Subaru WRX STI is no less capable of duking it out with its five door rivals. And that's doubly true of the limited edition Type RA model. How does it look? The latest Subaru WRX STI isn't a particularly pretty car, but the Type RA treatment does it well, adding an iconic touch with 19-inch gold BBS wheels. The other tweaks are more modern. A tall carbon fiber rear wing and carbon fiber roof are most noticeable, but the Type RA also adds a body kit with black elements as well as a red grille surround. There are three colors available, but if you order anything other than the classically cool World Rally Blue, we recommend you have your head examined. How's the storage? If you want a five-door Subaru, you will not be considering the WRX STI. It only has 12 cubic feet of cargo space in its normal trunk, and that's less than half of what you get in its most cavernous competitor. In the cabin, storage cubbies are adequate. The cup holders stay out of the way of the six-speed manual shifter, and there's a cubby under the console that has no problem swallowing an iPhone 10. Door pockets are helpful too, although the center console isn't quite spacious enough to be very useful. Is it roomy? The seating position is high, but there's an abundance of headroom here that means even taller drivers should be comfortable. There's 97 cubic feet of passenger volume, but the second row is a little bit cramped for taller adults. How does the interior feel? Subaru's interiors aren't at quite the level of Honda and Volkswagen just yet, but they're pretty close. Most of the materials in here feel really nice, but it's the Type RA specific touch points that we really like. These Alcantara door panels and this steering wheel. Alcantara wrap, beautiful to work with. And the seats are great too, sturdy Recaro chairs. Is it well equipped? The Type RA comes with the usual WRX STI accoutrements, a power driver seat, heating for both front chairs, a touchscreen infotainment system, dual zone climate control, and a pair of reconfigurable information displays or welcome additions. It's all fine, but hardly worth writing home about. How's the infotainment system? As good as Subaru's infotainment has gotten, the WRX STI Starling system is still on the difficult side. The touchscreen display spans 7 inches diagonally, but it feels small and imprecise. We like the standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, but we wouldn't mind a brighter, clearer screen whether we're using third-party software or not. Is it a good daily driver? So the STI is mostly an okay daily driver. The seat is comfortable, the seating position is good, I have solid visibility in most directions. It's fine. There are a couple of finicky things that, that hurt it in this car, and we'll start with the transmission. Now, me and James, the videographer, have been complaining basically all day about the clutch of this car. I'm going to slow down and try to launch it casually. There, the catch point is very, very high on the clutch, and it's very tiny. And the clutch itself is pretty firm, so all of those things combine and make it really, really hard to take off smoothly. I'm also not a big fan of the shift lever. It's a six-speed manual, just like you would get in any other STI, but the Type RA gets a short throw shifter on it. And the result is just kind of rubbery gears that don't quite feel the way that you'd expect them to when you're driving along. So it's possible that it just needs to be broken in, but at the moment, this car, it's a little bit difficult to manage smoothly. Is it fun to drive? Yes, it's very fun to drive. It's 1.5 liter turbocharged flat four pumps out 310 horsepower, which is more than enough for a vehicle this size. The problem that I have with it is that it doesn't 
doesn't sound as good as it could. The Boxer engine is, especially a Subaru Boxer, has such a distinct, interesting sound that it's a little bit annoying that you have to go pick up your car and then immediately go to the dealership to really allow it to sing. But if you were really going to get one, one of the things I would recommend most about it is the steering wheel and the seats. They're both fantastic. They put you in the mood for driving. They feel great. This steering wheel is gorgeous. It's really a pleasure to work. So there aren't a ton of reasons to recommend the Type RA over a standard STI, but those are definitely a couple of them. How's the fuel economy? The EPA estimates the WRX STI Type RA will return 16 miles per gallon city, 22 highway, and 18 combined on premium fuel. How much is it? It's not cheap. Prices start at $48,995 not including an $860 destination charge. On the upside, there are still no options, so that price won't creep any higher. Still, the Type RA costs almost $13,000 more than a plain Jane STI. What are the negatives? The Subaru WRX STI Type RA is the car for the ultimate Subaru fan. I'm talking dyed in the wool. Someone whose ringtone is a boxer engine with a killer exhaust, who painted their house World Rally Blue with gold shutters, and who strongly believes that they were born as the Pleiades sailed overhead. If you're this sort, good luck finding your ideal example of this limited edition charmer.